Luke, important game in, in terms of the table, um, but Cheltenham on a good run at home at the moment. How do you approach it? Yeah, for sure. I think um, our results and the performances at home have been great of late, especially with Tuesday nights against the top side. We, people have said that we've only won the games around teams around us at the minute, but uh, obviously it's good to put that marker down and uh, we're delighted after the final with at Mex at Saturday, probably even more important now to back it up. I think if we look back to the Notts County game away from home, that really sort of kick-started our season, so it was a, a good one for us and we're looking forward to it. And a good one for you personally as well, because you got two of the goals. Yeah, on a personal note and a, as a collective group, I remember being in the dressing room after, thinking that was a real real starting block for us and for me as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, put the same sort of performance in and uh, get some get the three points out there. How have things changed since then in terms of, I suppose, confidence, belief, spirit, all those sort of things that necessarily the fans don't see if, if we just see the performances and the results? Yeah, I think um, you can go right from the bottom. Everything's changed, the, the mentality around the place, the demands we've put on each other, the demands off the staff. Um, training's been a lot a lot sharper, a lot brighter. I think when I first came in the club, there was a lot of stuff that was accepted and hopefully I've helped in, in that department. But listen, the, it comes from the gaffer, obviously, and, and the demands from the senior lads, and we, we've all put that on each other. And, and we're just glad that it's starting to reflect on the pitch now. We still think that we should be a little bit higher up. We've away from home, we've let ourselves down a little bit with performance-wise, and uh, it's something that we want to improve on to get into that middle group now and push up a lot further. And Notts County a few weeks ago showed signs of improvement. They had that little three-game run against three of the teams up there. Things might have fallen off a, a little bit of, of late, but how much stronger do you think they'll be than they were in November? Yeah, I think with the signings they made in January, we, we obviously thought there could be a danger to us at the time. Obviously, we were a bit closer to the, the relegation zone then, but uh, at, at the end of the day, it's important for us to for us to get the points just as much as them. You know, um, If they get that win, it obviously takes them a lot closer to the teams above them. So, it's listen, we'll, we'll remain professional and at the end of the day, we need the points, like I say, just as much as them and we'll be fighting for them. And they've had off-the-field problems as well. As a player who's been there and done it, how difficult or easy is it to just keep your mind focused on doing your job? Yeah, it can be leading up to the week, but I must admit, once I got on the pitch, I'm sure it's the same with the Nuts County lads on the Saturday, that should all really go out the window, I think. Um, you can, people, obviously family, friends, agents, all getting involved with what's going on on and off the club, trying to probably get you out, and think, I've had things like that in the past, but like I say, once you put your boots on, it shouldn't really matter. It's uh, it's about what happens on the pitch then. You're on the bench on Tuesday, and obviously Michael Duff's managed you throughout the season. Um, how much has that helped, and how much do you just sort of want, though, as a player, still to be starting every game? Yeah, I think my my initial aim was to play as many games as possible. Um, but to be honest, it, I've played more than I probably thought I would, and to obviously get get those games where he's leaving me out and. Uh, the games that I've been left out recently, we've obviously done well in the Cambridge game and the point Tuesday night. It's it's brilliant to see that we've got that competition for places now. The gaffers uh, going over all the time now about the the amount of players we're getting back fit and we'll have Alex back soon hopefully as well. Obviously Nigel's a long termer, but listen, the competition's brilliant and it, it breeds confidence throughout the squad. We can he can mix it up a little bit and, and we're delighted with that. And um, if you do have to make a cameo as a sub, how? I... Do you sort of approach that in terms of actually trying to cram as much as you can into the time that you've got? Yeah, I think it was a, a bit of a different scenario Tuesday, obviously going on and uh, trying to cons consolidate what we had. And if we had a chance, obviously we'd go from there. But uh, I knew what my my uh, job was Tuesday night to go on and hopefully keep the ball to stick up front and maybe a few set pieces to defend. But uh, yeah, I think different situations in different games, I, I, I knew exactly what my job was Tuesday going on the pitch. and. Uh, the gaffer gave me my role and I was pleased that we ended up with a point. Very soon after you arrived, the gaffer started referring to you as Reg. Um, presumably everyone around the place does. Do the younger players get the origins of it? No, nah, I must have tried to explain it to them and get them to watch a few of the shows, but they're not having it to be fair. You can imagine what they've got their hands on these days. It's, it's, not, that, it's not that, I'm sure.